الحمد لله رب العالمين وصلى الله وسلم على نبينا محمد وعلى آله وصحبه وسلم ما بعد Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala created all of this and not in jest. Subhana. Here we are. The second day of Ramadan. 2013. 1434 in the Hijri calendar. Here enjoying Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala's creation. Tabarak wa ta'ala. And using... The time out here to reflect on Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala's creation. His ayat. Women ayatihi. A layla wa nahar wa shamsu wa qamar. Fala subhana. Women ayatihi a layla wa nahar wa shamsu wa qamar. La tasjidu li shamsi wa la li qamar. Washidu li lahi. Aladi khalaqa hunna in kuntum iyahu ta'abadun. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says. And from his signs, from his signs, min ayati alayla wa nahar, is the night in the day. Wa min ayati alayla wa nahar wa shams wa qamar, and the sun and the moon, la tasjidu li shams. Don't prostrate. To the sun, wala lil qamar, and not to the moon. Washdu lillahi aladi khalaqahunna, and Allah orders us to prostrate before Him, Subhana, aladi khalaqahunna, the one who created this beautiful creation, who created the sun, the moon, the stars, the planets, everything, the air that we breathe, the birds that we hear, us. Wa ma khalaqtu al jinn wa al insa ladi abudun. We have not created mankind in jinn except for the purpose of worshipping me. That's our purpose. And although the signs of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala are beautiful, magnificent, all the life that we see in these ayat, and from his, his, his signs are the, are the night and the day. Although they're wondrous and there's so much that happens and, and, and time is so valuable and time and all of the wonders of the creation and the way we operate within time, we use time restraints, the way we measure things by time, all of that is from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. That's all a part of His creation. No matter how wonderful and great those things are, and how much, how little knowledge we have of time and of the sciences and of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala's creation. None of it is worthy of worship. Ta'budu ma khalaqa hinna. Men khalaqa hinna. Worship the one who created these things. Wa min ayati al-layla wa nahara wa shamsu wa qamar. لا تشجدوا لشمس ولا لقمر واشجدوا لله الذي خلقهن Worship Allah or prostrate before Allah the one who created this إن كنتم إن كنتم تعبدون أو إن كنت واشجدوا لله الذي خلقهن إن كنتم إياه تعبدون If it is Him who you worship So prostrate before Rabbil Alameen, the, the Lord of all of the creation, of all things. Prostrate before Him. If it is Him who you truly worship, if you want to free yourself from shirk, from polytheism, from worshiping other than Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, and being led astray, and being dal, being misguided. Because in fact, if you worship the sun and the moon and the stars, you're misguided. The sun's going to leave you at the end of the day. The moon is going to, to leave you at the beginning of the day. And those things will be destroyed. Those things were created. They have many benefits only because Allah gives them benefit. 
and we benefit from them. Walillah alhamd, to Allah belongs all the praise. And we ask Allah the Almighty to accept our good and forgive our evil and bless us to be of those who worship Him and use these signs as a reminder to come closer to Him subhanahu wa ta'ala wa sallallahu wa sallam ala nabiyya Muhammad wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa sallam.